Today, we're gonna try some makeup hacks and we're gonna see if these hacks slay or make us look cray cray, okay? Wait, I didn't mean for that to rhyme like that. I am so sorry. As you can see, I have a little bit of base on my face. Uh, I didn't wanna bore y'all with putting on things that weren't part of the hacks. Let's just go ahead and dive right on in. The first hack is like a concealer hack. I think the hack goes something like, shoot, let me go rewatch the video. <laughs> Cause I already forgot. <laughs> All right, I think I got it. I'm gonna use my She Glam, and she goes like this, and then brings it down, goes in a little bit, and then goes like this, brings it back, and then goes down like that. Okay, uh, trust the process. <laughs> this is what they say. They say trust the process. Uh, even though I'm looking like a mosaic painting right about now. Then go out and go, oh shoot, I forgot. I forgot to do this part. Ooh, okay. How am I looking? <laughs> do I look hacked? <laughs> I feel hacked. Um, I think she blends hers out with a brush. So even though I always use a beauty sponge, I will blend, I will blend this out with a brush. Wish me luck. Wait, let me let this dry down just a little bit. Just, just a little incy teensy weensy bit. All right, this is a pure case of what I ordered versus what I got. Cause this looks crazy. I am gonna blend this out with a beauty blend, blah, blah, blah. beauty sponge. Cause I just, I can't, I'm not living for this. This isn't really a hack for me. I feel like I just wasted a lot of product. Now, is it possible that I just didn't do the hack right? Absolutely. I might go back and watch the video and be like, that is not what she did. <laughs> At least as far as the blending out process. So will I be switching up my normal routine to do this? Absolutely not. Hell no. Hopefully the other hacks can fix this. Okay, fix it, please. Please fix it. Four contour placements that replace surgery and transform your face. The eye lift effect. All you have to do is draw a line on the outer crease all the way to the temple and then blend it in and bam, you will see a huge lifting difference. You can see it now. Everyone knows a nose contour, but these two little lines on the side of the nose create a completely different shape to your nose and just add a little bit more definition and structure. Also blending your contour into your brows brings attention to your eyes. It's the button nose style in a different way and I think it's super cute. This is the chiseled cheekbone snatch contour. It would replace the buckle fat removal surgery. Stamp the contour in place, blend the bottom inwards towards the cheek, making the cheek look so much slimmer. Blend upwards towards the cheekbone and softly go over it with a beauty sponge and you'll see the chisel come to life. Today I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury for, oh no, this is for contour. I don't need the Charlotte Tilbury yet. I need my pink lips. So I'm gonna attempt to do what she did and I'm gonna use my brush so that I can be more precise. Even though I think this brush may be a little too big. I think so. Okay, this brush is too big. So I'm going to try with a different brush. I'm gonna use my eyeshadow brush for this. Save me now. Trust the process is what they say. They say trust the process, so I'm trusting the process. Next, she does like a contour thing with her nose. And I think this is what she did. Um, goes like down like this, down like that. And then underneath, I think that's how she did it. And for the buccal fat, it's like, like that. I don't even think those are even, but it does give that illusion of having that surgery. That looks crazy. I think that's as good as that's gonna get. Now it's just time to blend, 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 blend. I'm gonna switch to the fluffier brush. Fluffier, I don't think it's fluffier, I think it's just bigger. Well, I guess it is a little fluffier. So I'm gonna just switch this brush and blend everything out and see what happens. Do I look snatched? I mean, I think this hack works. The only thing is, I think the way that my eyes are shaped, like this, like this. <laughs> I 
I don't think the eye hack works for everyone because you see my, my structure just doesn't work with that. Like it doesn't really do anything for me. Excuse baby girl, she living her life, not in the business that pays her. But this little buckle, fat, buckle, fat remover thing. I mean, I personally don't really opt for this look, but it works, okay? It definitely works. I'm gonna go in with my Estate Cosmetics. I think this is what she did. I mean, that did something. That did something. <laughs> I'm supposed to do this with my, my non-dominant hand of... I feel like all these... I feel like all these people that do these hacks are ambidextrous. Okay, that might be a whole thing. I like that. I'll know for sure once I put my glasses on and see what this is really looking like. This next hack, I was actually very, very excited to do this one. And honestly, this is the hack that kicked off this whole entire video. It is this cute sunset situation going on with like your cheeks. Okay, sunset blush. Well, you only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Absolutely stunning. However, I don't have liquid blushes. The liquid blushes that I have barely show up. They would not work for this challenge, but I found an alternative. Okay, the alternative is cream products. Cream products, and then I'm gonna use this for that highlight look. Let's go ahead and see if this works. For this hack, I'm gonna start off with my Fenty Cream Blush in the shade Cheeks, oh no, it's called Cheeks Out, and the color is Daiquiri Dip. I'm gonna try to recreate what she did. Wait, is this a little orange as well? I might have to switch blushes. Instead of using that Fenty, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Bionic Blush in, I don't know what color this is. What does it say? Fly. I'm gonna put two, two. All right, now I'm gonna use this one and just kinda, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't think this is gonna work. I'm just trying to put like a flush of that color right there. I really wish I had the liquid cause that would make this so much easier. I think that's as good as I'm gonna be able to get that. I have my bow, bu bo bo babe, beautiful babe, bo bo babe. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna do one cheek at a time cause this stuff, once it dries down, you're done. Once it dries, you're, you're done. I'm just gonna do it like that. I think I put that highlighter in the exact wrong spot. All of that color literally just like disappeared. <laughs> Bruh, I'm gonna have to give this hack another try and like do it with the right stuff. Get like the liquid drops, maybe from like e.l.f. and try it like that. Cause I don't think I'm doing this hack justice. Well, this side looks kind of pretty, but it's not pigmented <laughs> enough. I think that is as close as I'm gonna be able to get that hack. I think the hack works. You just have to have the right products and clearly I do not have the right products. That's no shade, no tea to them. That's this complete shade, other shade to me. It was nice to try. I think I don't think this looks bad though. I brown hat. Girl, you barely have any. I'm curious as to how this is going to work for someone like myself. I mean, I feel like I'm just doing my regular eyebrow look at this point. I think this is making it even more difficult than it needs to be, doing all these triangles and such. Doing my eyebrows like regular is more time efficient. So this is a no for me. I'm just gonna fill in like regular, cause ain't nobody got time for that. But I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. But I think freehanding just makes more sense to me. The next hack I actually do not have a video for, but I saw people do this in other little videos Basically, all they did was draw a dot on their eye like this. All they did was... Okay. All right. Uh, that didn't go the way I thought it would go. Let's try it on this side. Zoop. Okay, that doesn't look right. I don't want 
want to use my good mascara and my good powder for this hack. So we're going to bust out the She Glam and this Rachel Couture thing. I would have used the She Glam. Uh, I would have used the She Glam mascara as well, but I don't think that would have been a fair assessment of whether or not this works because that one is just so bad. They just kind of go like this into their powder and then they put it back. Yeah, that's a hot mess. And then they use it. We're gonna see if this does absolutely anything. Oh God, I just have like powder going literally everywhere. I wonder, am I supposed to dip back into the powder every single time? I don't know. To be safe, I'm going to just dip back into the powder and do that for every part of the step. I'm not gonna keep dipping into the powder. I don't see it really doing anything special except making this process even more messy than it already is. It doesn't look bad, right? Like it doesn't look bad, but I don't think this is something that enhanced it so much where I'm like, oh my God. Getting my Laura Mercier and my Mac stack. I guess it works. I don't, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know if this works or not, but I won't be using this hack ever in life. Cause I feel like I got powder in my eye and I don't like that. The last one is a lip hack. Basically you take the darker color and you put it on the outside like this. Now, take a lighter color and put that in the center. And then you just... I don't know if I like this. Maybe it works better with matte lipsticks because with the glossy lipsticks, this just looks a hot mess. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try this with matte lipsticks because this, is, this isn't it. Not even in the slightest bit is this it. This is the final look. I'm not using any of these tips. I won't be ruining my nice mascaras or my nice powders. I might try this again with matte lipsticks because I think she used matte lipsticks in the video and that probably will give you a better gradient, you know, a better look. Overall, this is just, it's a hot mess. It's a no for me, dog. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fae Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.